Jane, I have a question for you. If nobody's talking, when you go up to Portland, are you going to come back to Eugene before you go to come up to our place? I was not going to. However, um, I, I, I'll talk to you about about the whole thing. I was thinking about not doing the ghost. That's thing. what I'm thinking. I can't. I can't walk hardly. Yeah, you I have mentioned. A full yeah, you mentioned that you're in pain. I have a different reason. I was thinking of not doing it. Um, but well, so, you know, you know, the only thing, reason I'm asking it is I think Irina needs a ride from Eugene up. Oh, to the party? Up yeah. to the barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, I was just going to go stay at, in Portland and then come down to Corvallis or, you know, to your come down to your place but that would be two nights in Portland yeah if I if I'm if I end up if I stay in Portland that's the way I'm going to do it yeah well let me know yeah I'm if I if I ride. if I don't it depends on what the plans are for Saturday night if I don't end up staying you know so so like yeah, we can talk about what the plans are for Saturday. If I'm not going to go to the ghost, I'll, thing. I'll give you. I'll give you a call. Susan will be in town the whole time. You can hey, hang out with her. Rob, can I share the screen for just a second? Uh, just real quick. Well, I'm going to anyway. Um, let's see how do I do that. Hmm. Alan, what are you surrounded by? Here you go. Uh, you got is that on the oh, screen? Yeah. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So oh. Kyle, Kyle's back. What, were, you, what were you doing in LA? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, uh, so Kyle was in visiting his family. So uh, we got together. It was very nice. First time meeting him. He's uh, he's just like he is on the screen. You know. Except three dimensional. Except three yeah. dimensional. It was a it was <laughs> a very very nice visit. What did Kyle think of it? <laughs> well, no, I didn't. I didn't ask. Well, he's a he's a really nice guy. He, he absolutely sure is. Yeah, I'm sure is. he had a great time. Did he bring Yoshi? Is, is that his wife? That's his no, bird. It's his parrot. Oh, the parrot. That's it's right. His, it's his chick. That's right. <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't know if he can travel with a bird. How difficult. Oh, uh, well, you can. It's tricky taking it to Canada. I had a friend who went well, through we're quite not Canada, was in Chicago. That's Chicago. To... Yeah, but that was Chicago, not not Canada. Oh, oh, okay. Chicago. Which why was it's it, like? Why, why was the Chicago is like Canada, but colder. that's right. <laughs> Windier. <laughs> why was that a special problem, Ginny, for Canada? Oh, I just getting them through customs. And any any animals the, across an international border tends to be a pain in the butt. Yeah. And, oh, and well, uh, you, what you do now, you let them go. Any non human animal. Customs let them fly in and you just meet them on the other side. <laughs> right. she, she was, she's a veterinarian and, and it took a lot of time to get all the proper papers and everything to get their, their parrot across the border. They moved from Washington to British Columbia. It's almost the same place. <laughs> Don't tell anyone in British Columbia that. Oh, okay. Now there are Canadians in British Columbia. Almost the same, but you have socialized healthcare. Hey, you got to be careful what you call who you call an American. Well, when I was a kid, I was at a, I was at a Toronto Argonaut football game, and at the halftime, and it's like forty thousand people, and at the halftime mm -hmm. of the game. They had a they had a marching band from I don't know Podunk, Podunk Ohio High School was going to do it and they the guy announces for your entertainment the Podunk uh, High School band is going to play uh, our theme will be our great American musical heritage and for twenty minutes forty thousand people stood and booed and those poor kids <laughs> were looking like what did we do we didn't do anything it was so funny 
but everybody just booed. It, it, they didn't really think about it when they when they told us what it was. The, our, uh, I know the, you're, the, our, the, you're, our, you're all moved. Okay. The, the <laughs> level of, um, of hate that Canadians can exude towards the U.S. is really quite remarkable. Yeah, but you know what? Most of those guys are full of shit. Uh, they, they 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 like they like to uh, to slam things American, but <laughs> just a lot of the same shit goes on there too. Well, yeah, I, that's funny. I had never experienced or even knew that that was a thing. Have and you ever lived in Canada? That people in Canada, you know, really didn't like Americans. Well, they don't <laughs> want to be. They, they do. Canadians do resent the, the, the idea that people, well, you're North Americans, you're American. No, we're, no, we're not. Cana we're Canadian. Um, so, there's, you know, no, they're say, very sensitive. Canadians first, are very sensitive to that. The first place I heard it was in Project Hail Mary. And people who have read that might remember the scene. The engineer who was in charge of the Beatles was Canadian. Oh, that's right. right. And he introduces himself. I'm Canadian, but I'm not one of those Canadians who hate Americans. And I thought, really? Like, why, why would that even be come up as a subject? But yeah, they hate they, they hate Americans until they need a good place to go for vacation. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to make the rooms here. Let's see. Hmm. Is this all the people wow. we're going to have? This is uh this is going to be a cozy group. I'm disappointed. We have fewer teams. Okay. I'd hate to be on a team by myself. That's all I'm saying. Is that I, I mean, there's, <laughs> what, well, I, I had thought that I might leave early, but I, with a small group and with Rob with Rob leading, it will be done in an hour. So I'll stick it out. <laughs> no, I, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I am not doing any category, so uh, that that does not hold today, unfortunately. If if there's anyone who wants to save their category for another time, we could take it down to three rounds and a bonus, and then have. Yeah. More... So right now, Kevin's not here, and we don't have to do a bonus, so we can just do four. How about that? I'd like that. I'm still getting over jet lag. You can always save it for later. There's more weeks coming up. Yep. Fine. I think we're going to do that. All right. When did you get home? Uh, we got home Tuesday night, and today we found out both of us have COVID. Get yeah. out of here. Really? Again? Yeah. Uh -huh. Turns it was first time for both oh, of yeah. us. But yeah, we uh, turns out the boat, um, most of the people on the boat got sick halfway through it. We thought it was because the weather was so mm -hmm. bad. And then finally today we decided, well, what the heck, let's go and check it out. And sure enough, we got COVID. So we get the feeling that we probably infected most of Europe um, while we were there. Just before oh, you got on, I was talking about like I hadn't known anybody personally who had COVID in a long time. And now simultaneously with four people I know. So, yeah. And, and by the way, yeah, I didn't mention that before. And then I Googled it. And sure enough, the last four weeks early july yep. it's been climbing up and apparently that's happened every year there's been covid well so yeah. the summer it goes up because people yeah. go inside when it gets hot and that's what they said and a lot but of traveling funny, they said in the summertime when it when it was really bad the first time they said well summer everybody will be outside and it'll go away you know yeah, for us, it was the opposite. The weather was so bad because it was raining and cold the whole time we were there. So everybody was inside the boat. So, you know, just nice little Petri dish to make sure that whoever got it first could spread it to everybody else. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, Where did you go, Ron? Uh, Prague to Paris, or Paris to Prague. There's a river cruise. Hmm. Got it. Cool. So, yeah, I mean, COVID's on the upswing, but and even though hospitalizations are increasing on overall hospitalizations are still pretty low. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that was the other, that's part the bigger of, thing to be concerned okay. about. That was yeah. the other data that I saw. Yeah. It, it's extremely low compared yeah, to, I mean, if what, what we have right now is just like a bad cold, which is what we, everybody thought they had, you know, if this is as bad as it gets, this is not much of an, uh, you know, pandemic at the moment, but. It's when the cytokine storm kicks in the second mm -hmm. week that, which is where we're at right now. Well, I mean, if, if it gets bad, but I'm sure you're 
you're all vaccinated and oh yeah stuff so that uh that makes it less likely to happen yep all right i'm going to open the rooms we have three per room for uh 14. all right here we go Hey Rob, how's it going? Are we only the only ones here? Hey, they're in their rooms. Oh, okay. All right, let me see. Where should I put you? Uh, da, da, da. Is Faith playing? Mm -hmm. Hmm. All right, let me put you in room two. All right, see you. Problem. Very few people playing tonight, so we're not going to do the bonus. So we only have four teams. Can you get your power back? Oh, still connecting to audio.
Yes. Yes. That's weird. Yes. Two minute warning. Two minute warning. Okay, is that enough time, everybody? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okie dokie. Carl's head's exploding. I don't think I told Romero. Uh, because of the uh, small turnout today, we're actually playing with just four teams and four rounds. So, mm. unless quicker. Kevin shows up at the last minute. No, no, because then I can't make a fifth team. So, no, it's oh, definitely. So. So even if he shows up, he'll join a team, but we won't do the bonus. That is correct. Yeah, he, uh, he actually he actually texted me and said he was running late to be here by ten o'clock, which I uh, I guess that means East Coast time, which would be five minutes. But uh, okay, all right. So let's have the team names. Where's my chat? I got no chat. Out. Here's my chat. Okay, team one. Gail, Cindy, Leonard, and Deborah. What have you decided? Is your epic? Where team? is everybody? Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, I've, I've decided to tell Susan that when she's going to be absent the next time, she can't tell everybody she's going to be absent. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be a surprise. You, it's a surprise. That's correct. Surprise. Uh, surprise. All right. <laughs> maybe, team... maybe because it's summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Team two, Lee, Alan, Jane, Romero, and possibly Faith. Who's speaking for the team? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Here's our, our team name is okay. We need more candy. What? Okay, we need more candy. Okay, we need more candy. Okay. We need more candy. I don't get it. But okay. The explanation is that we spent the entire time talking about candy instead of choosing a name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Team three is. Carl, Ben, and Ron right now. We didn't start this fire either. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Just way too soon. Way, way too soon. For the millions of people who watch this, who knows how long into the future, because Maui is burning. Yeah. What's um, the other fire? Which? Oh. Either suggests there's another one. Yeah, the Canadian fire. Well, the Canadian, oh, the Canadian one. one. Yeah, I went out for a long time. We're still going on as far as I know. All yeah. right, team. We're pretty sure we didn't start the fire has been used as a team name previously. Right, which is oh. why we chose this one this time. Team four. The final team for tonight is Bill, Janine, and Mike. What is your team name? We want our own skiff. <laughs> <laughs> I had a skiff for so many years. I miss having a skiff. You go in there, it's nice and quiet. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Somebody That's put it in the chat. supposed to be a place to take a nap, Rob. Somebody put it in the chat. There's nobody typing in the chat. I'm doing it. I'm lazy. I don't want to type it. <laughs> you're in Susan's room, and you're going to turn into Susan. Mark, you want to say hello? No? Okay. <laughs> You're looking out the window wrong. Yeah, you looked the wrong way. Mark's in the door. garden. In the the door is the other way. It's He's still in the like, kitchen, in not the out the window. He's in now the you need to screw up the spreadsheet. Exactly. Mark is in the garden. Oh. The marking Mark's garden. in the garden with Dinah. Okay. So <laughs> this is game number 173, if this is correct on here. Uh, I believe so. Four. So the teams are, where is everybody? Which is a very good question. Okay, we need more candy, which is needs an explanation, but have one. We didn't start this fire either way too soon. And we want our own skiff, which is going to be a popular thing for the next year, I got a feeling. Okie dokie. So uh, let's see. First up is a Gail for where is everybody? Give you some powers gal no mm, there you go okay we'll start with the cap the topic and it is a mystery topic sort of because i'm going to give you a hint it's a mystery with a hint and when you get the mystery a lot of the answers will be figure outable or guessable um but there is a hint because i wasn't sure people would get it without the hint so having said that, let's look at the questions. And Rob, you will complain because the first question is rather long. There are two very long. I, I, I have no skin in this game, so I don't give a damn. <laughs> Make it as long as you want. I thought you were playing. Aren't you playing on my team now? Yeah, we go on every team, you know, it's like, who cares? Uh, okay. <laughs> no skin in the game. I'll help, I'll help or, or disrupt each team equally. I see, okay. Question one. Who wrote the following poem? Some say the world will end in fire, some say in ice. From what I tasted of desire, I hold that those who favor fire. But I had to perish twice. I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction, ice is also great and would suffice. Famous poet, famous, famous poem. 
question two. What is the title of this animated 1983 film that is described as a dark fantasy adventure? I think only, oh, never mind. That fits the theme. Okay. Number three. Who was the performer who did a song and music video titled Fire and Ice in 2009? Before, what is the complete title of the one button video game described as a strict rhythm game where you keep focus as you guide two orbiting planets along a winding path without breaking their perfect equilibrium. Question five. As in the books, this TV series features Rhaegar the Targaryen crown prince descended from a family of dragon riders when he pursued Lyanna Stark, a daughter of the Stark family who governed the icy north. What is the title of this very popular series? Question six. Is that topic? Oh, there it is. Poliahu and her sister friends, Lily Noah, Waiau, and I'm not pronouncing any of these right, by the way, Kahau Pokime, are snow goddesses. Poliahu was their leader and the antithesis of the volcano goddess Pele. They both had a fight that resulted in Pele accepting to let Poai rule. Whose mythology is this story from? We're just looking at a, at a physical location here, a geographical location. Okay, question seven. The second book done in 20, 2003 in the series of young adult novels based on the adventures and drama of multiple clans of the feral cats is titled for this trivia theme. The other books are The Wild Rising Storm, A Dangerous Path, and The Darkest Hour. What was the series title? Question A. There's a smoke shop and blank to go in Rosenberg, Texas, that sells a drink that fits the theme. What is the drink that includes the name of the theme? And that goes in the blank, and that's the answer. The name of the theme. The name of the drink that goes in the theme. Question nine. The, this performer is a world-renowned guitarist known as the father of neoclassical guitar. His career has spanned over 40 years with over 20 albums to his name, drawing influence from classical composers such as Bach, Paganini, and Vivaldi. He, this, he, Yugui is responsible for birthing the neoclassical genre to the world of rock. As a Grammy-nominated artist, his music has earned him many awards, including being listed one of Time Magazine's greatest guitar player of all time. His album, The Fifth The Theme, was released in 1992. We're looking for his last name because obviously his first name is already in the question.
And finally, number 10. What country fits this theme with most homes heated with geothermal heat in the very cold winter and where the volcanoes are regular occurrences? A regular tourist attraction, it is a good place to see the northern lights and a place that grows bananas. It is a country of extreme contrast that epitomize the theme. Any questions? Okay. Okay, interesting.
Lee, I think that's a yes, by the way, to your question. Okay. Yep. Okay, I think that was more challenging uh, than Gail thought it was going to be. It was. I, I was afraid that it was going to be too hard, but I had trouble coming up with enough questions once I started with the theme. Um. So <laughs> let me share my screen and show you the answers. Uh, some of them I knew would be hard, but some of them I thought you were going to get. Okay. Uh, you all got that. If you get the theme, that's a bonus question. You can get a point for it. I, I think I told all the teams that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, sharing screen. Okay. And I will put the, the answers in the chat afterwards, but I did a PowerPoint so that we could talk about them. Hey. All right. The theme was fire and ice. I think everyone got that. The poem was written by Robert Frost, the famous Robert Frost poem, and was part of the inspiration for the theme. Uh, number two, the, the film is, is titled Fire and Ice. <laughs> it was a good thing you could, if you could have guessed it. I don't know if anybody did. Whoops. Mike, that's what you said, right? Yeah. Yeah. Two is Fire and Ice. That's, that's the name of it. There's the, the poster for it. It's Ralph Bakshi, right? Hey! Yay, Karen. And Pat Benadar did Fire and Ice. Yippee. Thank you, Karen. Karen. Thank and you, the Leonard. The video game <laughs> is called A Dance of Fire and Ice. Oh. I guess just fire and ice there isn't going to be enough. <laughs> <laughs> what did the output fire and ice? We should have guessed fire and ice for everything, right? <laughs> that was our <laughs> approach. Yep. Okay. Question five. I think everyone got that with the Game of Thrones. And it's true that I understand the book has a, a, a title that is closer to the theme. So if you put the book title, that's fine too. Six is either the Pacific, it's a Pacific mythology or specifically a Hawaiian mythology. Given that away. Seven was called Warrior Cat. And <laughs> Fire Warrior. And Ice the second book in the series. <laughs> Never heard of this. Which cat? Me neither. I don't want it's that a cat young adult. It's a young adult series. So. Did they ever make it into a movie? I don't think so. Or TV series? <laughs> Number seven, there are daiquiris to go. It's called the oh. Fire Ice Show Smoke Shop. <laughs> Only That's touch. funny. Yeah, right? Number nine, I didn't expect anyone to get Malmsteen unless you're really into this kind of music. But I, I gave you his first yeah. name in the, in the question. Yeah. But, um, and finally, I think everyone got Iceland. And Iceland is the reason I had the theme because I had started with that. And yes, I think it was Rob who said, they, do they grow bananas there? Yes, they grow bananas there. Wow. They, do, they do it with the, therm, the geothermal heat under, under, um, uh, under like glass. A green, yeah, in a greenhouse. Yeah. Yeah. Greenhouses, yeah. And so they grow bananas. And I oh, that's cheating. You can have a greenhouse anywhere. And, uh, well, Antarctica. no, they use the ge oh, geothermal oh. heat with the thing. You can't, oh. you'll have a tough, a tough time growing um, a, um, bananas without the, the heat that you get from that. We have geothermal distilled vodka from Iceland downstairs. Mm. So that's it. Okay. Thank you. Stop sharing. Okay, very good. I think. Well, we'll see. Um, did everybody get the theme, by the way, and get that extra point? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We did. Okay, so team one, where is everybody? Six. That was my team. That was not much help. Team two. <laughs> okay, we need more candy. We got six as well. Okay. We didn't start this fire either or either. 
seven, thanks to the late edition of Karen. All right. <laughs> and the last team, because we're only playing with four teams this week, we want our own skiff. I thought we got eight. Is that right? I think so. Wow. Okay, six, six, seven, eight. It's a close game on round one. Very good. Okay, so Lee is up for round two. Let me give mm -hmm. Lee powers. Okay, well, please uh, please bear with me because I've never done it where I had to introduce each one. So, all right. So we're going to call this Name the Group. Ooh. And we all know how much fun it is to do things in groups. That's why we show up here every Thursday night or Friday morning, depending on where you are. So there are terms for groups of creatures. I'm sure everyone's heard of a murder of crows. And uh, actually, this one was so much fun, I had a hard time narrowing it down to 10. So here we go. Now, let's see if I can get my stupid mouse to work. And my mouse isn't working. Come on. <clears throat> okay, what is there? So, first one is, what do you call a group of giraffes? And if I can, my battery is going crazy. And it renumbered it all by itself. Okay. That should be number one. I apologize. All right. Uh <laughs> I may just have to read these. I don't I don't know if the battery's going in my mouse or what, Mike. Yeah, it's going crazy. Well, paste them all in the. Uh, yeah, I'm able to just paste thing, the whole so in thing. Case you cut off. If it is just the name of animals, and each one is, what do you call a group of certain animals? That would be easy to just say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, just saying. Let me see, it's just. All right, let's try this. Okay. And it just, good Lord, it just changed the order of them too. All right. Could you say it and then have somebody else write it in as we're going? Yeah, who's a good yeah. typist? Who's a fast okay, typist? Group, group of giraffes. Who's volunteering? Who's a good typist? Fast typist. Yeah. I got it. Mike's going to type. Yeah. <laughs> Just read them. Rescue. Okay. A group of giraffes. A group. Number two is a group of flamingos. Number three is a group of ladybugs. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Four is butterflies. Five is hippopotamus. Hippopotami? Or hippopotami. I wasn't quite sure how to would. You, hippopotamus? Hippos. Well, well, spell checker said hippopotamus. So I'm like, okay. I don't know. I'm no, asking. No. I'm not correcting. I yeah. was asking. Now, All right. now Lee, if, if we come up with something that's cuter or better or funnier than the real one, <laughs> do we get a point? He's actually, believe it or not, I changed the whole date world, the, Deborah. These date from the 14th century. Most oh, of them. No. Okay. Uh, group of ravens. 
a group of owls, a group of bunnies. We're not going to all become bunnies, are we? I don't want to be a bunny. A group of porcupines. Who gets that? Who gets that? Points. We do now. And number 10, a group of monkeys. Aww. <laughs> mm. Okay, easy enough. Thank you, Lee. All right, now. Rob, can you send me to the right room because? Yes, so you need to go to, where, what room are you Rob. in now? What does it say you're in? Where are you? Four. Uh, four. Okay, move to room one. There you go. And we got somebody new. We got Caspian. Hey. And, and Jamie. Is Jamie there, really? Yes. Mm, well, I should, by the rules, I should put you on the team with the lowest score, even though it's so, so, so close. And they already have more people than anybody else. Uh, I don't know about this. All right, give me a random number between one and two, because there's a tie. Two. All right. You're on team two. Oh, okay. I, Rob, I didn't get to go because it still says four. Uh, that's weird. I said move you. Move to room one. There we go. Okay. And Jamie and Caspian, what did I just say? Two? Room two. You said two. Room two. Okay. I'm going to room two.
So Gail, before I forget, you did not post your answers to the chat. Please do oh, so. I'm sorry, I will do that. Okay, well, welcome back everyone. I think I've got the answers in chat now. But if we wanna walk through them, uh, what do you call a group of giraffes? Is a tower what? of giraffes. Interesting. A group of flamingos is a flamboyance. <laughs> uh, a, couple of people get. a group of ladybugs is a loving lovingness. Loveliness. Oh, loveliness. 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 We were a close with butterflies is a we were close. Good job. Well, we, we missed it, but <laughs> mm. there's one of my favorites. A group of hippopotamus is a bloat. <laughs> oh, oh. A group of ravens is an unkindness. I think uh, there's a lot of different answers for that one. I I don't know. You know, I I looked in a couple of different places, and there were some things where there were, were a couple of uh, different opinions on what it was. So I tried not to choose any of those. Um, let's see. A group of owls is a parliament. Right. Actually, this lady in the 14th century was the same oh, one that named crows a murder and a ravens and unkindness. And I'm just thinking, man, what do these black birds do to this poor lady back? In the <laughs> she did a not group like of them. A group of bunnies is a fluffle. <laughs> and one of my other favorites, a group of porcupines is a prickle. <laughs> and a group of monkeys is a barrel. And how many oh, no. is a barrel? Really? Oh, oh, man. Yeah. Group, group of monkeys. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah a the, group of monkeys. Yeah, all the nature shows call them a troop of monkeys when they talk about yeah. them. True. Yeah. Yeah, I thought barrel of monkeys was just the, the fun little saying well, that people that said. Song, I didn't think yeah. that was the well, yeah. Anyway, Julianne Berners wrote this book in the 14th century, so uh interesting. You know, Appeal to antiquity. These, these things of uh Come down to us after what, 700 years. So. He had a barrel of monkeys in the 14th century. And I uh, knew about monkeys. <laughs> Some of them got out of town. They fun they were in a barrel. No, <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> you don't want to open that barrel of monkeys, especially if they've been sitting around a while. Oh, they'll yeah. Be, they'll, oh, they'll be uh -huh. angry. They'll be unhappy monkeys. What's well, after 700 years, lamas? it's going to smell What's bad. What's a group of llamas, Lee? <laughs> That's true. Yeah, Lee, what's a group of llamas? It's a herd. Really boring. No, come on. That's yeah. cows. Yeah. You gotta, you you could, gotta trust, trust me, I, I tried to come up with llama answer. questions just because I knew people would expect it of me. And I couldn't. Like you a know, harmony right? of llamas or a peacefulness of llamas. Something like there that. You could make something better up, Lee. Uh, about the only I could get into some real obscure things of what's the difference between a silky llama and a you know but that that would just be that would rank right up there with punch and judy should have, should have been a dolly of llamas a dolly of llamas yes a, a spit uh, uh, of a uh, spit of llamas there you go. Uh, we've already gone through okay. that all right let's go to the scores please oh we can go right down in order since it's Team one and two tied in three, four. Okay, team one, where is everybody? What'd you get? We had seven. Slightly better, very good. Okay, we need more candy. Six. Staying the same as that. Mm, we didn't start this fire either. Uh, seven. Wow, very, very consistent. Uh, and finally, we want our own skiff. <laughs> Eight. Oh, wow. Yeah, That's everybody's consistent. Come, on, come on, team one. What are you doing? You messed up the consistency. <laughs> Gee, just by one We're, we're trying. <laughs> wow. Okay, so uh, let's see. Who, who's got a big enough setup there to take a team picture? Well, Susan's room does just like three computers. You take it. <laughs> yeah, actually, but he's not actually. I can't fit. I can't Susan's fit everybody, room. but this is a small enough group. I can. So yes, I can do it. Okay. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say it's a lot smaller groups this time. Yes. Okay. On three. One, two, three. <laughs> all right. We got we got to give Susan trouble. Last time she's all like, "Okay, get ready," and then she got distracted, and then all of a sudden she goes, "One, two, three, and takes the picture. I totally wasn't even looking at the camera. Oh, Caspian's a total blur. We got to do that again. All right. Okay. One more time. That, that's that's just how accurate. He is. Yeah. One, two, and <laughs> three. Uh, that's awesome. Let's see. How are we looking there, Rob? Okay. Caspian's got this devilish face on, but I'm going to leave that one. <laughs> what that's happened. accurate, too. All right. Well, I got to share this. Uh, share screen. There we go. There's Caspian. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> Second thing. Deborah's looking off to the side. He's looking for heaven. Mm -hmm. All right, good enough. All right, thank you. Five minutes. What you should Five. do is you should edit that so that I'm looking up at Carl's atomic blast. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, five minutes. Oh. So, Alan, what does the rest of your T-shirt say? Oh, it's just surrounded by nuts. Okay. Yeah, that's that's how we came up with our team name. Is I couldn't read his T-shirt, and so that became the whole discussion of what what candy food do we like to eat? I had a nice uh, nice uh, lunch with uh, with uh, Kyle yesterday. And we we uh, we uh, video video called uh, Avi in Germany, uh, just to surprise him. So uh, which was kind of so we got Very this. Nice. Got to, How yeah, is Avi so doing? He is doing great. He's he's having a real good time there. So um, yeah, maybe we'll uh, we'll see him one of these days. Are you sure you didn't have lunch with Carl and not Kyle? No, it was it was <laughs> it was Kyle with a K. Okay. Kyle with a K? Kyle with a K. Yeah. Yeah. There is an apocryphal tale does moose. that probably the Kyle and Carl would find amusing. Uh, apparently, I don't know if it's true because I can't find more than one reference to it. I was going to use it actually as a question, but I can't prove that it's real that apparently Krispy Kreme Donuts has a camp. And when they started advertising the camp, they decided to be cute and use K because Krispy Kreme both starts with a K. So they were going to advertise this to kids and say, come to our camp. And they spelled camp with a K. So KKK was the <laughs> they, Krispy Kreme cramp. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> Over very well. Well, and, the, and, and it got changed the, really quickly. Well, the vanilla, the vanilla filling would go would go over very well. <laughs> Your Krispy Kreme is from. Why, why would that be? <laughs> Krispy Kreme is what? Is from North Carolina. Oh, for a while we had them like on, they were on like every block for a for a, few, a number of years ago, and then all of a sudden they just all disappeared. You know, so but the only place you can get Krispy Kreme now, I think, is pretty much in the uh, in the supermarket. They're well, if you them. want them, they got them here in Las Vegas. Yeah, generally, the ones in the supermarkets are made out of at one of the local factories and shipped in, like delivered when they'll make them overnight. Yeah, I used to always drop in on them because as soon as you walk in the door, they gave you a free. I didn't buy anything, but as soon as you walk in the door, they give you a free donut. So I just. <laughs> Times Square Krispy Kreme, just north of Times Square. See, the thing is, the one I loved was the the cream filled, like the vanilla cream filled, uh, uh, and, and and that you can't get. I never see that at the store. That and the custard filled, custard filled, cream filled, jelly filled. No, it wasn't custard. It was it was a, a cream filled. Yeah, I, I like the custard filled. Yeah. 
I have a story about this. When I, my very first job, so this was 1968, okay, uh, was in a donut shop. And I was called the donut finisher. It was a Mr. Donut, which is like a Dunkin' Donut. I don't think it exists anyplace outside of New York if it even exists there anymore. But my job was to finish them. The, ba the, the baker made the actual donuts. And I did the coatings on the outside or the fillings on the inside. And sometimes I worked the counter. And we had lemon filling, cream filling, and red filling. And the red filling got put on trays, and sometimes it was labeled cherry, and sometimes it was labeled raspberry, and sometimes it was labeled strawberry, and sometimes it was just labeled jelly. And we'd have customers come to the counter and say, oh, it's like a strawberry donut. No, I don't like this one. Give me a cherry instead. Oh, yeah, that one's much better. Right. It's much better, right? And the one that I liked the best was somebody who'd come in for a dozen donuts and say, I want a dozen filled donuts that mix them up better. Last time you didn't mix them up enough. Because when they weren't labeled, they didn't know that this was cherry and this was strawberry and this was, this was jelly. You had to be there. You had to be there. Do we have a, you learn to be a skeptic early in your life. I well, guess. that's exactly right. You start yeah. to, real, that's, I started my, you know, this is before I went to college and studied psychology. And I, I used to use that as an example of how the label changed the taste. Yeah, we have what's called the Krispy Kreme challenge every February, where you start at the local university and run 2.5 miles down the road to the oldest Krispy Kreme we have in Raleigh that was built like in 1970. And then you have to down a dozen donuts and all the way back. <laughs> You're not required to eat the donuts. Um, but in, what's so funny is that the charity that they raise the money for is the Juvenile Diabetes Foundation. <laughs> Which I think it's so ironic. And you see all these college students running down and then you have to be careful coming back because I was gonna <laughs> say, oh, you'd be slip sliding away, right? Mm -hmm. But it's very interesting seeing people on mass like just downing all these donuts and then having to like run all the way back. And they have to have a follow up race for the Adult Diabetes Foundation. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, I think each donut is 200 calories. So that's 1200. And you, for that race, you have yeah. to inject yourself with an insulin. You <laughs> get <laughs> We've run it a couple of times, but never done the actual challenge because we're not stupid. I remember my actual customer who came in and said he wanted a dozen donuts, but he wanted the plain kind, not the kind with the powdered sugar because they were on family was on diet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to cut the calories down a lot. A lot, yeah. Yeah, you know, the five calories of powdered sugar. I also learned that you don't want to get, I don't know if this is true in any other place. It may have just been this one donut shop, but you, you don't want the kind that have the stuff on the outside because what we do is that they, they put, we load them on a stick and run them through syrup and then into crumb or peanuts or whatever the, the outside coating was. And that would really freshen them a lot. So the day old plain donuts were the ones we did that with. Oh. <laughs> Fresh donuts were the ones that you couldn't do that with. Okay, hailing frequencies open back to the game. So that's in preparation, by the way. I was supposed to interview uh, Leanne Lord today, and uh, I'm definitely going to use that in her uh, interview. If anybody knows who that is? Oh, absolutely. No. So very uh, funny lady. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. she most certainly is. Exactly. So probably going to get next week. Leanne, Leanne, Lord. Leanne Lord. She she is a comedian and author. She has been the MC of SciCon and uh, many other conferences, both skeptic and humanist. And uh, she's a fellow of CSI, et cetera, et cetera. And she's going to be doing a half hour stand up for SciCon this year. And so I'm going to be talking to her. So yeah, my you know announcement. Who's going to be, my announcement. Is is Geo going to be there this, this year? Yes. Yeah, he's MC. 
I was worried because they're doing that other thing the next week, right? That uh, yeah. not a con. It's, yeah. It's really unfortunate timing. Yes, I, I, I told Bob that. <laughs> I did too. Yeah. I okay, so who, who's got announcements this week? Anybody? Besides Rob? No podcasters here. Nope. Um, let's see. Anything? Everyone's invited right. to my house on the 20th. Okay. <laughs> I think I just got Jane from this crowd. <laughs> I'm going to be there. It's good. It's about time you got out here. Yep. I, I, I hope I'm going to be here. <laughs> I looked it up. It's a little bit far. Oh, Rob. It's a, lo it's a really what? lovely spot. I, I have it's I have. much better now that we have the tree cut up and the driveway cleared and the deck cleared off. It's much better. But it might be hot. Where yeah. are you, Janine? I'm in Oregon. Uh, it's Corvallis, pretty busy. Near, Corvallis? Near, near Corvallis. Near okay. Corvallis. Very close to Corvallis. Yeah, near my... the dump. On the back side of the dump. <laughs> what? How long have you lived there? Um, I've lived here since I married John in 1988, but uh, his parents built the log house in 1974, the house that we live in. Because my uncle owned a florist in Corvallis for a long time. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which, which shop? What was her name? You know, I can't remember. If somebody said it, I'd... I'd... Penguin. No. Oh. Okay, so um, I do have one thing. I got my interview with a little-known person named Richard Dawkins published uh, today. So nice. there is the article with the video interview. He was a nice catch. I actually had a hard time reaching him. I had his email and I, for some reason, he was never responding. I wrote back to Barry. Barry, you said he would do it, but he's not answering me. And I must have been going to spam or something because as soon as Barry wrote and we connected and I was able to get an interview. So it was very cool. Your okay. interview with Paul Offit was very good. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, he's very I heard very Paul Offit last night for an hour on A1 said much the same thing as he told you but it was expanded upon of course with wow. more nuance it was a good program last night yeah and anyone who's got, coming to SciCon, don't miss the uh, film they're going to screen virulent the vaccine war uh paul was a medical consultant and, and i got to watch the film early it was really really good Okay, so let's go on to round three. As we can tell, Carl is not in profile anymore, so uh, that means Carl is up. All right. And I see an atomic blast behind him. Might be a hit. Name of this round is the nuclear option. This round could be a real blast, or it could be a total bomb. <laughs> and and I, I mean that seriously because. Some people may not do that well, but hopefully at least it's a little fun to think about. Although fun to think about atomic bombs and stuff. Fun not nuclear all, weapons. But mm. yeah, I realized that I was saying that out loud that it didn't actually, <laughs> although it's not all bombs. There, there's a little power in here too. I, I'm going to clip just that audio section out before I send this to Susan. <laughs> <laughs> I am not muted. Everybody else is. Here we go. Number one, in general, which produces more energy per reaction event, nuclear fission or nuclear fusion? Number two, the Manhattan Project Los Alamos Laboratory worked on developing three different production non-test weapon designs. Two were named Fat Man and Little Boy. What was the other design name? Number three, what country was the first to generate electricity for a power grid with a nuclear reactor? 
Number four, how much time elapsed between the discovery of nuclear fission and the Trinity nuclear test? Plus or minus half a year. Number five, where does most of the energy of the highest yield nuclear weapons come from? Nuclear fusion, nuclear fission, nuclear spallation, beta decay, or actinic detonation? Number six, how long has the United States' current ground-based ICBM model been in service, plus or minus four years? Number seven, the largest yield device detonated by the United States was the Castle Bravo test shot. It had a predicted yield of six megatons. What was the approximate actual yield, plus or minus one megaton? Number eight, who is regarded as the father of the nuclear Navy? First and last names, please, and I don't care about spelling. Number nine, here's the longest question. Which of the following is not an example of a type of nuclear weapon that was developed and deployed for service? Nuclear air-to-air -air missile, nuclear depth charge, nuclear satchel demolition charge, nuclear anti-satellite missile, nuclear torpedo, nuclear 155 millimeter howitzer shell, nuclear anti-ballistic missile, or nuclear re recoilless rifle slash grenade launcher? And number 10, what is the typical rank of the commanding officer of a United States nuclear powered submarine? And there you go. Clarification on the last one, is it any specific classification of submarine or just all nuclear powered submarines? The question should be read as written. No clarification is required. Okay. Howdy. The real oh, Susan. Susan. I think, although it says it says Joe's iPhone. I think the last time I used this, I was using it for operation. Um, your audio, your audio is awful. Could not hear that. Well, let me figure out. Say something. Something. That's better. <laughs> hello, let me get, hello. Let me get adjust. Let me get adjusted. I just got to my hotel room and took out of the shower. I had a nine-hour drive. Oh my. Today and a seven-hour drive yesterday. Oh my. So I have to move things around here real quick. All right, so so they just went to the rooms for for round three. I'm gonna put you in. Ugh, okay. let's see. You're with, with huh? You're with Jamie and Caspian. Oh, good. That's where I'd like to be. Because they're in last place, but it's very close. They're only like four points off the lead, and uh, by one point in last, they have the most people. Wow. Maybe I shouldn't put you on that team. No, I got to. Oh, I'm gonna be no good help. That's anyways. the rules. Okay, so here you go. You're going to be in room two. Okay. You get, you get that? Yeah. Okay. All right. I got to go to room three. I'm in room three. Where is my room three? Try it.
Hey, look who's here. <laughs> Showed All up. Right. Susan, look who's in your room. What? Who? What? Look who's in your room. I'm looking. Oh, look is it Karen? No. Wait a minute. We've got two Susan Gerbics. What the hell? Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> Uh, I don't so, see. Oh, so much for finishing before one o'clock. We have Susan Gilbert and Susan That's Rob That's going to disrupt the time-space continuum. Exactly. Hey, I just finished listening to Project Hail Mary like minutes before I call, got onto this call. It was a perfect amount of time from my house to my hotel room. <laughs> for, I, I started it in my, ho in my driveway and I ended it as I got it to this hotel room. So perfect. Are you in perfect. Seattle yet? No, I'm in a uh, federal way. Oh, who's in my room? I don't think I'm in my room. You're close. Oh, that's Rob. Oh, <laughs> yes. yes. Go for it, Carl. But it's old. I've moved. All up. right. Mark, Mark, you want to come and say hello, Susan? Apologize, <laughs> to everyone, for making this so hard. No, my, no. Okay, no way. It, it, it was definitely too hard, and I apologize. <laughs> if there's a cat that jumps up, I'm Hopefully, this is not the nuclear lighthouse round. <laughs> okay. So, uh, fission events release about 200 million electron volts per reaction, and it's about an order of magnitude greater <laughs> than uh, fusion events. Fusion it has more powerful per massive reactant, but individual fission events are more powerful. Okay. okay. Number two. I knew it was a trick question. Thin man. Yeah. Thin uh, Man was a gun type design intended to use plutonium 239, but it was abandoned when it was discovered that reactor bred plutonium contained too high a concentration of plutonium 240, and that made the gun type impractical for plutonium. Okay, number three. While the United States was first in generating electricity with nuclear power, the USSR was the first to generate nuclear power for the electric grid mm -hmm. on June 27th, 1954. Uh, number four. This, oh, wait, did you say the, the Russians? The oh, USSR. This is actually because they were the first to get a, a downed uh, extraterrestrial spacecraft and they reverse engineered <laughs> That's it. That's correct. Yes. <laughs> like, now it makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense. So number four, this is something that just is almost mind boggling to me. Wow. That you know, on, at the beginning of December 1938, nobody knew fission was a thing. Nobody even really had a scientific theory that it could exist. I mean, people speculated maybe with something we could crack the atom open, but they didn't have a specific thing of if we bombard things with a neutron, we, they discovered it. And six and a half years later, they had a working bomb. Oh, that close. really is by that amazing much. to me. Thank you, Jamie. So. Acceptable range, six to seven years. Okay. Uh, number five. Uh, uh, the answer is nuclear fission. In the highest yield nuclear weapons, the fast fission of the uranium or plutonium pushers and tampers and radiation cases in the fusion secondary stages from fast neutrons produced by fusion is responsible for the majority of the yield of the bomb. And uh, yeah, so there are two fission stages. Yes. So um, that, there, there's so, the primary, there's the spark plug inside the secundary, but the yeah. So they're they're fission fusion fission bombs. Right, and then the the, the casing around the secondary is a uh, generally for the highest yield weapons. Is, is, is uh, where most of it comes from. A uranium tamper that uh, even uranium two thirty eight that although it's not fissionable, fissile, it is fissionable from the fast neutrons produced by the fusion. Okay, number six. So is all this detailed information in, in, Oppenha in Oppenheimer? That's why it's three hours long. No. I don't know why it's a three hour long movie. The, the Minuteman 3 ICBM currently defending the United States is 53 years old. Jeez. Oh, hey, we wow. got one. It was, it was supposed we to be replaced so by the Peacekeeper close. missile 
but they did not produce enough peacekeeper missiles to replace the Minutemen. Oh. And then there were slight reliability issues with the peacekeepers. So when they're during arms reduction talks with the Russians, they retired the newer missiles and kept the older missiles in service. I want to know what the original design spec said was the lifetime of the missile when they deployed it, because I'll bet you it wasn't anywhere near 50. And, and the... Uh, Very. The and silos. neither is the lifetime of the of the weapons. Jesus Green, what Christ. did we say? We said fifty eight. Oh, oh, you could make you could make this an easier oh. category, Carl, by expanding the because we've missed two numbers. Did, did anyone get did one. anyone get a point on that question? Oh, unfortunately. Okay, so yeah, Caspian did. We did. We guessed fifty. <laughs> and ah, it's, I talked you out of it, Bill. The, yep. the, the missile silos that they use to launch those missiles, the equipment is so old in there, they still use eight inch floppy disks. <laughs> That's great. I have one of those somewhere. I don't even oh. use eight inch floppy disks. <laughs> That's TMI, you guys. TMI. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, Kevin. Number seven. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. 15 megatons. Range oh. of 15 megatons. Uh, the yield we was close, two and a half team. times what it was predicted due to the mistaken belief that, uh, as a simple explanation, the lithium-7 that they, that was some of the lithium deuteride was inert and would not breed tritium, but uh, like the lithium-6 did, but uh, it was not inert. It did breed tritium, which led to more fusion, which led to more neutrons, which led to a lot of fast fission. And the fast fission of the tamper produced about 10 megatons of the 15 megaton yield. Thank you for simplifying that explanation. Yes. <laughs> if you want the details on the answer to, uh, to the details of why thin men wouldn't work, it's a, it's a fascinating subject. Cool. Didn't they have I, a dog named Aster? Asta. Asta. Yeah, you're right. It's Asta. And, and also why that first they thought it would work. Boy, that's it, it, without the uh, I can't wait to read all before. about it after this is over. Number I can eight, recommend a book on all this. Oh, the father oh. of the nuclear navy of Admiral Hyman Rickover. Oh, not even close. Who, who ended up a full <laughs> four-star admiral. Did he end. he's a Rick Roller? He is a Rick Roller. <laughs> Hyman Rick Roller. <laughs> you if you put Hyman Rick right Roller, now. I will give you a point. Carl, you should have played it right now. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So of all those nuclear weapons listed, there was never a nuclear anti-satellite missile. Yay. Um, Yay. 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 Uh, that just ruined our score. Including the Davy Crockett recoilless <laughs> rifle that had a range between 1.2 and 2.5 and miles. We got a point. Oh, Ron got a Ron's, and Rob's Ron's reasoning was spot on point. in terms of yeah. Uh, but but the, the one the one the one that you said just now that was my second choice because like how the hell did they make a nuclear weapon that small? That amazing. They me. didn't. <laughs> it only it only had a yield of about twenty tons. Yeah, which would definitely kill anyone within that area. Yeah. But anyway. And lastly. Was... Oh, yeah. A commander of a nuclear U.S. submarine, whether it's a fast attack guided missile or ballistic missiles, are commanders 05. They are not captains. I thought boomers got captains sometimes. Uh, I checked, lied I checked to me. every single boomer currently in service, and all of them have commanders as commanders. Okay. We They're commanded by commanders? Trip. They're commanded yes. by commanders. <laughs> well, at least, we're, at least we picked the right one. So we got... All right. Wow, that, that was tough. Where's Colleen? I see her icon, but I don't see her. She comes and goes. She co she'll come on when we when we took a picture. She came on. Okay, so she's around. Okay, so we're Wait, ready for many, the scores. So, some of some of the folks who had birthdays this week finally showed up. Who had Ooh, a birthday? Yeah. We're, we're, we're we're doing scores. Robin did. Robin, Robin did. and Susan. Well, Adrian. Susan did. Adrian. It's Adrian. Yeah. And Adrian, Adrian and Susan Adrian and yep. Robin and, and Susan. Susan. So Susan got Susan. skipped this year. <laughs> and Karen <laughs> pretended. Think, Mine was two weeks ago. Do I have to no, mute everybody? Uh -huh. I'm going to mute everybody. 
We, we are going to do scores. And then you can't get the scores. And then per- There's no then Team 5? Why is there no Team 5? Because there were too few people when we started. Didn't have enough. We, we have enough for five teams. We have a new rule, Susan. When you say you're going to be away, you can't say you're going to be away. It's going to be a surprise. Oh, because people don't show. Everyone just yeah, decides that's a good time to take off. This is the thing. We, have have we, we, we had 13 that's people. Fun. So, Rob, why don't we do scores and then take another picture now that we have more people here? Let's do scores. All right. We're going to start with, okay, we need more candy, which is Susan's team. We are very mad. We only got five. I was hoping for a straight six, six, six. Yeah. Oh. I think we got six, didn't we? Uh, what? I have that we got five. Okay. All right. Because I have that for number five, we had fusion down instead of fission. Yeah, I, I count six as well. Okay, Maybe which one? One, two, four, six, eight, and ten. I have 5.7 for four. No, I said six and a half. Okay. Well, six, six, six or six, seven six, months six. is what I said. Okay, but, okay. perfect. Then yes, we have six, six, six. Perfect. Woo-hoo. <laughs> the number of the beast and let's see next is where hey, is before everybody? we do all the scores are we doing around five i have no no no, no. we could do we it i got it well yeah then how do we arrange that because what team no, are you just, no. just no. do it no, i just, just won't, on my team i won't do it that's all i haven't been assigned to a team yet all right let me think about it okay uh, where is everybody and kevin isn't on a team we can be special we had four yeah. four four okay uh didn't take over the lead. Next is we didn't start this fire either. The curse is alive too. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Into the cellar. What's the other one you got right? Carl, what'd you do to your team? Um, the we got the commander right, and then the Rob. I knew portion. you got that one right. Yeah, Rob with the anti. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. Yep. Oof. Wow, I got half of the score of the whole freaking team. Amazing. Yeah. We want our own skiff. We're hanging with team. No one says SCIF, like no one says NASA. Well, I've never heard of it. I've never seen it spelled. It's been in the news a lot the last three But they always say it. I've never seen it written. But no one reads the news. They hear it. I read the news, but I probably skip over that. Okay. We want our own skip. Two. Oof. Another. Oh. Wow. As the scores tighten. Devastating. Together. Yes. But uh-huh. very, very Good close game. Good one, Leonard. Susan, Susan, Rob, Susan, Rob, I request that we take another picture now that we have more people here. All right. So I can't fit everybody. Who's got a computer that can? Rob, you, know, you can change that in your settings. Well, now I'm on Susan's settings and I, I can't change her settings. Leonard so. can. Maybe. Pauline, are you there? Can you come back to the camera? Adrian's here. She All right. Actually let's, can now, let's, so. give, let's, let's give this a try. Three, right. two, one, capture. That might have worked. All right, let's see. I will go and look and see if it worked. If all those spells, I could take it out of the video. Yeah. But I'm too lazy. I also took one, but I don't actually know where the screenshot went. <laughs> I hate when that happens. It usually it goes just, to the desktop. And then yeah, it goes to diffusion. On mine. Well, it's got and, this weird and, thing where it asks me to draw a shape across the screen. And... Yeah, then it goes into, it, are you using um, the little snipping thing? Snipping no, tool? I always just print screen and then put it in paint. Oh, that's weird. And then um, Mike mentioned something that um, involved Adrian and Adrian. Adrian. And, and Susan and Robin. Susan. Susan. Robin, no Where's stop. Robin? Robin is partying. She's, She's not here. No. She's eating the Barbie birthday cake. I saw yeah. that. Well, it's not. <laughs> but we should we should include her. Okay. So, so if you all are some... into singing the song, if you don't want to hear the song, you can plug your ears. It will be sung. The happiness will be exuded from this group for <laughs> Adrian. Robin and Susan. Yay! You can mute yourself. Uh, no one hears Susan. Carl's okay, tomorrow. Gonna start it. One, two, three. 
Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday Anymore. Beautiful, Yay. beautiful. Uh, we so we have here, a future birthday uh, tomorrow. Here is the picture that that I. Carl's got. birthday oh. tomorrow. Oh, oh, Carl's birthday is in twenty or nineteen minutes. So that's oh. that's the picture oh. I got. It doesn't matter. It's I hope birthday that's okay. Now. This time though, looks How good. Do we skip him? Do All we right. have to do it again? Yeah. No, we couldn't I got say it. any more names. We'll do it next week. You guys got to put me on a team and you got to decide if you want to do the bonus round because that was my I turn. Forgot, I forgot that uh, Carl's exactly 10 years younger than me. Almost to the day. I'd forgotten that. I'm going to write it down right now. All right. So, so how, how, about we do, how about we do this? I'll put you on a team, Kevin, but I'll do the bonus round. And I won't go on a team for that one. But then Kevin will know all the answers. No, no. I'll do my... No, I have a bonus ready to go. No, I can do, I can do it. I just won't participate. That's all. In that just round. don't put him on a team. But let's no, put, put me on a team for this round, but Susan not for the bonus round. Susan Rob, consult with with Mark. He will say yes. <laughs> you can do it. Mark isn't here with me. Mark is in the garden. Yeah. Other Susan. Are you done? Are you done gardening? Come on, come on back. <laughs> That's dark now. Where's no, my cat? No, it's still light. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it is still light. I have a pull up. Thing. Well, up there it is. Down here it isn't. Yeah. No. All right. I'm going to put you on. Let's see. Where am I going to put you? Team. The low squat. Uh, the dark, three. dark, dark. We need team help. We don't three. have very many people. Team three. Where are you? Let's break out room. Da, 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 da. Where's we Kevin? need somebody. Oh, team do? four. Why don't I see Kevin? Team four needs people. Where's Kevin? He's right there. Evan Magic Marker. I'm looking in the breakout room list. I don't see him. What's going on? I just came in. I'm on our, not on a team. I know, but that would usually put you at the top in the list and there's nobody there. Not in the breakout. You need to look in the participants. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. No, no. All right. You can't put him in a breakout room until you hit your computer hand. Breakout rooms. It only pop you up to the top. Okay. Let me give let me give Bill the powers. Where's Bill? Bill Bill. We we will only have two people if Bill goes. We need Kevin. No, you get Rob. Get Rob, yeah. Oh, we get Rob. Mm -hmm. Oh, because Rob Susan, and you always would get Susan. So not, in the, not in the uh, bonus. All right. No, but this is this is four round four. Bill's up. Okay. Well, here's the thing. The team that's almost going to win will want to do round five. So you really got to decide now if you want to do a round five. And so so the score is very close. 16, 17. I vote, I vote no round five. We're okay. doing a bonus and Rob, Susan Rob is going to do it. I got one no. if you want to do it. I just Kevin, who is supposed, supposed to do it tonight? That. He has I declined was. that offer, Kevin. So why, so why didn't we? Oh, you weren't here. Got here. I'm about to we just do this round and worry about the other ones after. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yes. Go he ahead, has Bill. Find that Kevin Magic Marker. Bill, I'm gonna mute everyone. They're all muted. All right. Am I muted? No. You're good. You're good. I'm good. Okay. Well, at least you're audible. The category is brush up your Shakespeare. And I'm putting it in uh, four or three uh, categories within. And the first one is name the play. Okay. The characters of this play. Are Antiphilus of Ephesus, Antiphilus of Syracuse, Dromeo of Ephesus, 
and Dromeo of Syracuse. So what is the plague? And question two. Characters are Sir Toby Belch, Sir Andrew Egucic, and Malvolio. Name the play. Question three is not characters, but possibly the most famous stage command. That's possibly the most famous stage direction in theater. Exit, pursued by a bear. And the last one for name of the play, characters are Don Pedro of Aragon, Beatrice and Benedict. Okay, next is name the character. My daughter, oh my ducats, oh my daughter, fled with a Christian, oh my Christian ducats. Number six. That's the wrong one. Oh, wonder how many goodly creatures are there here. How beauteous mankind is. Oh, brave new world that has such people in it. Who is the character who said that? Bill Nyden. <laughs> no. Tis not so deep as a well, nor so wide as a church door, but tis enough. Twill serve. Ask for me tomorrow, and you will find me a grave man. I'm peppered, I warrant, for this world. A plague of both your houses. Who's the character? And what happened here? The uh, Having a little trouble here with the. Uh... Okay. So the last three, name the king. These are all characters found in the history plays dealing with the War of the Roses. They uh, are first known by these character names or the, the, these titles. First one is Bowling Broke. But who is he when he becomes king? Second one. Oh.
is Richmond. Who is he when he becomes king? And finally, Gloucester. Who is he when he becomes king? Okay, and there you go. And I don't know how to put, send you off to your... Uh... I got it. You got it? Okay, Kevin, you're in room three. You okay, Janine? You're on mute. You're on mute. I'm just trying to copy the questions because they go away okay. when I change rooms. So make sure you're not stuck here and you have a room to go to before I Thank leave. Thank you. I am not. Okay. Okay. Number five starts name the character. Two, three, four, okay. Three, four. Break out four, this one, four. I'm going to be of no help here at all. Look at that.
I've well, extra popcorn if anybody wants it. I'll take some. I'll take some. Yes, feed it to me through the screen, please. Yes. <laughs> I've had it in my luggage for about four years, and I finally said, I am so hungry right now. I didn't have dinner, and I do not want to go out and get dinner. Well, well, well. This certainly is going to change things. Maybe. Pretty well, sure. I... Okay, let's share the uh, score sheet here. Must follow the rules. Sure. So we're we're only within the two points. Very close. Wow, man, you guys are for the us. lead. Um, we but... won't be in the lead when. All this... right. Do the bonus only if there's a tie. The answers first, Rob. Only two teams behind. Wow, this is. We need this the is, this answers. This is a close, close All right. one. Very <laughs> close. He got one. excited. Very here, close. here are the answers. Yeah, yeah. I say, it's like it's it's going to be yeah two points different depending. Yes, Bill. Are. So what do we got? Okay, question got? one. These characters, the play is about two pairs, or yeah, two pairs of identical twins who are separated at birth, and then they meet each other as adults. And there oh. is a comedy of errors. What was that? What that's called? I thought it was a popper and something. Popper in the Prince, Prince and the popper. popper. I thought that's, it was that's that was not Shakespeare's not Shakespeare. other that's play. Season. I thought it was the, <laughs> the B movie <laughs> basket case. Okay, the uh, characters, Sir Andrew, Sir Toby, and Malvolio are all characters in Twelfth Night. Would you accept Thomas the Tank Engine? <laughs> <laughs> no. close. And close. Friends and friends. Close. Okay, that's close, but uh, no, I'm afraid not. Okay. Exit Pursued by a Bear is uh, perhaps the most famous stage direction, and you'll find it in The Winter's Tale. I've never heard of it. Never heard of it. I, mean, not I hadn't Jellystone. heard of that one either. You won't accept Jellystone? Right now. <laughs> is, it, is it really a thing they say? Exit is if you're being chased by a bear? Well, Exit <laughs> is, is a common, you know, but... When the playwright wants people to leave the stage, he tells them to exit. If it's only one person, it's exit. If it's more than one person, it's exunt. And if there is something else happening, it's exit pursued by a bear. I never heard of that. Not, <laughs> never heard of any of that. I have lived a sheltered life eating popcorn and drinking diet pepper. Diet All right. Pepper. Left. Heaven's to uh, there is Barry wrote an opera based on this play named Beatrice and Benedict. And the play is Much Ado About Nothing. Number five. Come on. Number five the character whose daughter ran away with his money was Shylock. Ooh, yes. In the Merchant of Venice. You got a point, people. No, it's amazing. <laughs> okay. I mean, you're the literary one. You're supposed to know, know these things. Isn't he a fox on Dora or something? Dora the Explorer? <laughs> Dora the Explorer? No, it's Carmen. Where in the world are you, Carmen San Diego? Okay. Now, I heard discussion on this one. People got the play right. Uh, it is The Tempest, but the character is not Prospero, but her, his daughter, Miranda. Oh. Darn. Would you accept Puck? I'm not. Wrong play. Not. Wrong play, and the spirit in Tempest was Ariel. So... Mermaid. Okay, and uh, <laughs> the mermaid. <laughs> right. All right. Part of your and the world. person who was stabbed <laughs> under Romeo's arm by accident was Mercutio. Not so deep as a well, no, so, nor so wide as a church door. Somebody who can pun as he's dying. That's a character. Mm -hmm. That's my goal in life. Exit with a pun. Yeah, me and Vincent. Me and Vincent. Now Vince is gonna with a dad joke. <laughs> now I heard all sorts of interesting guesses. That would be capital punishment. 
Uh, <laughs> heard a number of interesting guesses on these. Uh, Bowling broke was so called in the beginning. Uh, God created the heaven and the earth. Yeah, and you, oh, he was Henry the Fourth. And uh, in uh, Richard the Second and the first Henry the Fourth, he is known as Bolingbroke. Is that what we put, Janine? Yes, we got oh it. <laughs> Wild freaking guess on name and number. Okay, <laughs> Richmond is a character who is very important because he was Queen Elizabeth's grandfather, and he was the one who uh, got rid of. Uh, Richard, he became Henry the Seventh. Sorry about that, Carl. We were off. We were off when you, one person. I one think. Henry. I think so. Okay, I heard somebody discussing uh, Edward the Fifth. Edward the Fifth was one of the princes in the Tower, and uh, Richard the Third got rid of him. Well, that's the uh, the claim. That's what is happens in the play. Anyway, Richard, before he became king, was Gloucester. And so there we have it. Ah. This one is Richard the Third. Uh, so we just said Henry the Fourth for all four of them, and hope it was right for at least one. You get one. credit for one of them. <laughs> could, could you just say Henry? No. How about Hank? Hank. <laughs> and, and you said Henry the Seventh was involved in a tower so that was a bunch of flamingos no <laughs> hey i got that reference that, so okay it, yeah, it was a flamboyance of flamingos in a tower flamboyance of in a tower of giraffes right yeah. all righty then well okay it's close we'll see if it's still going to be close after this I, and i'm still not sure if this is the end well we should decide now so what are we going to do <laughs> If there's a tie, do what it, are we going to do? It's after, if there's it's a tie, our, do a bonus. If there's not a tie, don't do a bonus. Just that easy. Okay. okay. Just do the bonus. All right. So, <laughs> give me your score, please. We didn't start this fire either. Um. Well, we really wanted to go back to seven, so we got a seven. Oh, good. Okay. Wow. In the lead. In the lead. All right. Uh, let's see, team. Where is everybody? We had six. The new tie for the lead. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> and uh, let's see, two teams are pulling up even with 18 right now. Okay. We need more candy. A beautiful six. Oh. Six, 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 six. And they take the lead. <laughs> is that enough to win the game? We want our own skiff, please. What is the score? Two. No, oh, no. No. Oh. <laughs> and we need more candy pulls it out by one point very uh, good why aren't we doing a bonus i wrote the damn we're doing thing. a bonus let's let's do, a bonus. Gonna do the bonus all right do okay. the bonus who's doing let's it me or somebody cabin. else the cabin was supposed to do the bonus tonight okay so i'm here because we, we, we just said if it was a tie we would do the bonus and it's not a tie yes so there I, is I, 23 and 23. <laughs> so apparently some people want to stay. Do the damn bonus. Some people want to stay. Stop the count. Stop the count. Just do the damn bonus. Okay. Do the bonus. Like All right, Kevin. Kevin you can't right. participate. You're just going to stay in the main room. Yep, that's fine. All right. Well, give him his powers so he can jump from yep. the room. All right, here we go. Let's okay. I, I'm not sure if we've done this one. And that's oh. the scary part. We won't remember even if we have. Tom Hanks, Tom Hanks has built an astonishing filmography over the years. All his movies have hit it big at the box office more often than not. Mm -hmm. List Tom Hanks' 15 top grossing movies. Oh. I have two different categories that you looked up the answers <laughs> on. One is according to box office mojo, and one is adjusted for inflation. It turns out there's only 15 answers, and four of them I'm going to exclude. Forget about the Toy Story movies. So now you have 11. Name 11, and you get a point for every one you name. Maximum score 10. Wait, could you put all Top those instructions Tom, in the text? Tom Hanks movies. Okay, got it. We can do this. I actually can participate. 
Yep, I'll put it in the chat. Name 11, but we only get to name, count 10. Yeah, yeah, name 11, because my list is 11 long. And you said it's the same adjusted for inflation or not? There's only, there, there was the same 10 in both categories. One was added. Okay, and that'll be fine. Forget then. about, forget about, there really would be 15, but I'm knocking off Toy Story 1, 2, 3, and 4. Don't even bother. Okay, those. So those it's, and it's ranked by? By money. By and money? By money, top grossing and top grossing adjusted for. Um, Wait, is this recent? Time. How close, how soon, how when, whenever? Since one Tom of the movies, Hanks has been acting. Yeah, yeah. It's is it one, any one, movie uh, he's been in? He doesn't have yeah. to be like the lead actor. He just has to be in the movie. There was one one movie that was that was this year is on the list. That's Don't tell anything, Kevin. You're not supposed to hint. My That's God, it. you just gave me one. Yo no puedo. Qué lástima. So go to your rooms. <laughs> you list eleven. I'm gonna always. If you get all eleven, you still gonna always score ten points. We're not going anywhere. Yeah. Mono rooms, right? right? Category in chat yet? <laughs> Oh, did it yeah. not work? No. Oh, it's for some reason it just went to one person. Yeah. One person goes to the who, room. Who gets Maybe that person should have said something? Oh, and then it says Om Hanks. Oh, ooh, ooh. This is when he started meditating. So, Susan, um, answer your question just um, since he started meditating. Um, okay. and, and Kevin, um, what did you um, say? What did you say to exclude? That's not listed there. Exclude Toy, all Toy the, Stories. Um, Toy Story movies. Okay. This is Om Hanks, you guys, not oh. Tom Hanks. Om Hanks. Think about that. <laughs> oh. Om. Om.
You're you're um in the wrong room or something, Bill? I'm in the wrong room. What room? I'm in room two. I should be in four. Okay. Okay, that's better. Uh-oh, what happened? You're on mute. I finally figured out how to send us both out of the other rooms. So where do you belong? What's that? Where do you belong? I don't belong anywhere. This is a limbo thing because I was going, I was replacing a person on a team when they're doing the category. But That's when I'm doing category. So I was in room three. Yeah, no, but that, that that doesn't make sense in this case because this was yeah, because that was in room three. You should but, room, room three. but but team three already did a category. You see? Oh, so. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you can do it yourself. Yeah, I'm just not. I'm just. We're, we're just not going to play this round. That's all. Okay. Well, all. what do you got? You got any answers? <laughs> hmm. I did it to my wife on the drive. I'm in. I'm in upstate New York right uh, now. Oh. I'm in Albany. Oh, why? Uh, my friend's uh, memorial funeral is tomorrow in Saratoga. So I'm oh, going to wow. that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Well, what happened? Uh, he died last year. I don't, we don't know. Oh. They, they found him in his bed with his Long clothes delay. on. Why this delay? Because uh, his daughters wanted it that way. It's a memorial or something, you know? Huh. And it's very circumstance, very strange circumstances. They found him in his apartment dead. Uh, drug paraphernalia wow. hanging around in his bed, fully clothed, reading a book. And his daughter said he never slept like that. They wow. think funny business happened, but they don't. The, the police investigated and found nothing and summed it up that he just overdosed. But his daughters are pretty sure he didn't because all the money in the safe is gone. He had inherited a hundred thousand dollars from his mother a, pre, a year earlier, had died, and he sold the house and got money. Oh, and they were not really? sure if they stole the money or if he deposited it into an account for his daughters. So I'm going to find out tomorrow what, what the mystery is because they're not talking about it. And it's been almost a year. Jeez. That sounds like a, a, a novel. Very strange. He's the guy, his nickname is Captain Jack, and Billy Joel wrote a song about him. Oh. Well. I talked about him once before. Do I know this song? I don't know that Captain song. Jack will get you high tonight from uh, the piano. You know, now I remember when you mentioned it. No, and those yeah. words. I don't know that I've it's heard Billy Joel's song. longest song. It's pretty good. Well, so uh, let's see. The Green Mile. Yep, mm -hmm. that's on the list. One point. That's what I would think. Um, big? Not on the list. Damn, really? Right, I know people are guessing it, too. That's surprising. Oh, man, what was some of his rom-com stuff? Um, what was the big one that came out this year? It was the last one on the list. It was number 11. I didn't see that one. It was a dr the war drama, right? No. Oh, Otto. No. It was the one where he not, played... I mean, not... not a man named Otto, was that him? No. He played, uh, the, he, the played a, he played a colonel. Yeah, no, I didn't see that one. I don't know. But not a real colonel. The the terminal? How about that one? Nope, not on the list. Damn. Which one did he play a colonel? I'm giving you a hint. It's not a real colonel, not a military colonel, but a colonel. Uh Polar Express? No. That's on the list, though. That's on okay. the list. I don't he played, know. He played like. Elvis. He played Elvis's colonel guy there. I don't think I saw so that. One. It was Elvis called Elvis. No, I don't know that one. Never heard that. Yeah, that was the eleventh one. That was a big one this year. Oh. Some of them I haven't seen. The biggest one was won an Academy Award. Oh, he how won. about how about um? He won an Academy Award for that. Oh, what the hell is the name of that? The one when he was the pilot. Oh. I think it was named after him. The pilot's name. What's his name? Is that is that one of them? I can't what is it? 
What was he doing? The pilot who landed the plane in, in the. Uh... Oh, Sully? No, that didn't count. They didn't oh, go up that high. Sully, no, that wasn't. Hmm. No. There's a big, big one that he did. All the freaking ones I saw are not. The big a... one he did early, uh, not early, but a long time ago, in the mid 90s, I think. It won an Academy Award movie of the year. It beat Pulp Fiction and it beat and it beat um, Shawshank Redemption. Wow, I probably saw that, but I can't. Oh, think. you saw the movie for sure. Everybody's seen it. I just can't remember. That's all. He won back to back Academy Awards, and both of those movies are on this list. Back to back, not the yeah, same. Yeah, two movie. years, two like years a year apart. apart. One was one was a one was a space movie. Oh, Apollo thirteen. That's right. And one was. I, I don't want to give you a hint, but it was a huge movie. It's like the second biggest on the list. Toy Man, Story. I, I didn't even remember Apollo thirteen thing. until you said space movie. If I say any line from it, it's that critical. It's that well known. If I say <laughs> oh, far, line, Forrest Gump. There you go, Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. Yeah. Are people? Have, have you been? The, are you looking at? No, you're not looking at the other. So I get the looking. list now. Toy Story three, Forrest Gump, Toy Story four, The Da Vinci Code, <gasps> Toy Story two. Oh, how saving, about how, how about how, Private how, Ryan? The Angels and Demons was that on there? Nope. Saving Private Ryan, Castaway. Toy oh, Story, man, yeah. Angels and Demons. Is that what you just said? That's yeah, on, yeah, Angels, yeah, that's on there. Apollo uh, 13, Catch Me If You Can, The Green you Mile. Catch Me If You Can. What was the plot of that? I don't even know. It's just on the list. The Green Mile, The Polar Express. Oh, I said Polar Express. Oh, you, yeah, I said you got it too. And oh, okay. Sleepless, Sleepless in Seattle. That's the one I was trying to think of the rom com. I couldn't think yeah, of Yeah, yeah. And, and Elvis. Uh, I never heard of that one. Well, he played the Colonel, Elvis's manager. Oh, okay. No, I did it not. It actually came out last I year. And I think I knew of that one. It was added this year, I think, to the list. Oh, but so that's new? Yeah, 2022, it says on it. Okay. Who played Elvis? Um, Anybody some, known? Some new kid or something, yeah. No, so a new guy. No, yeah. I didn't catch that one. I better send people out of the rooms. They got to be done by now. Yeah, sounds good. You're going to do it? Yeah, I just did it. Okay. Yeah, so I uh, had to go to my friend's thing tomorrow. I don't have to go, but I wanted to go. And his two daughters are coming up from, they live on Long Island. They're coming up to, we're going to Saratoga um, uh, National Cemetery. So I'm about an hour away now in Albany, staying for the night. And then we'll, me and my wife are driving up there. And then I don't know what we're doing after that, hanging out, doing whatever. And then we might go to the track on Saturday. I might just come home. Yeah. Are you going to know a lot of people there? Uh, I'm going to know at least four or five. Yeah. A couple of his neighbors I've never met, but they always talk to me. They're actually suspects. The cops. Uh, the, wow. The daughter, two daughters told me that be careful of this woman because she hung around with him a lot. He was babysitting. She was no, no, no name. Plants. This part's being recorded, by the way. Oh, Oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm not using any names. Damn. Soap opera. Yeah. Hey, Rob. Yes. Reporting is in progress. Thank you, Vincent. That's sure. Susan, Rob. <laughs> we, we, we had the problem of we wrote down so many Tom Hanks movies. It was tough narrowing it down. I forgot how many he was in. Wow. Man, he's got a long Probably career. Fun amazingly prolific and very okay wild. kevin i give the okay. good you guys ready for the answers i'll uh post them in there i'm trying to find the chat and get it and, to work. and state them for the recording audience yeah yeah i'm trying to get my oh, so we're gonna go with them. the list that uh, faith has right because i think i have a few things off of mine that weren't decided on okay number one is toy story three but these don't count number two was forrest gump <laughs> Number three okay. is Toy Story 4. Number four is The Da Vinci Code. Oh. oh. Number five is Toy Story 2. Number six is Saving Private Ryan. Hold on. Oh. A little slower, please. Yep. I'll post them. Okay. Thank you. Number seven is Cast Away. Number eight is Toy Story. 
Number nine is Angels and Demons. Oh, wow. Oh, we what didn't even think of that one. Yeah, I never thought wow. number, number 10 is Apollo 13. In Houston, we have a problem. Number 11 is Catch Me If You Can. Oh, I never thought of that. Oh, oh. that was so good. I didn't think I, I never I thought of that one. It. Never heard of it. Ah, oh, dang it. We didn't number, 12, number 12 is The Green Mile. All these yep. count because I've oh, taken off the Toy Story. Put it on our list. Uh, number thirteen, the Polar Express. Oh man! Number yeah. fourteen. Yeah. Number fourteen, Sleepless in Seattle. And number fifteen, Elvis. Oh, that's, ooh, that's oh, the one you were talking right. about. Right? Yeah, that's it. Right. He also did what, asteroid. What was the one from this city. year? Asteroid that was city. Elvis. I thought it was. I think it was last year, but they scored it when it went over the top. Was this year with the money? Oh, okay. Elvis. I had no yeah. idea. You no, confused me because I thought Asteroid City was on yeah, the list. Yeah, the Colonel. He played the um, Colonel. Catch me yeah, if you can. I should have thought that. Parker. Yeah. Catch Me If You Can is about Charlton. Frank Abagnale, who basically scammed and frauded, but, but, but pretended to be an airline pilot, a whole bunch of things. Um, he eluded the FBI for years. No, I never heard Based on a true story. So a man called Otto didn't even make it. That, that that, I didn't say that. Unless that came out this year and scored more than two hundred and eighty-six no. million dollars. No. Oh, okay. No, that's you can just keep hearing old. people talk about that movie. I if can't believe Scully did not make it. Then you could, if you have some source for it, then give yourself a point if it scored more than two hundred and eighty-six million. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Thank Thank so you. League of its own didn't make it, huh? No, Elvis is not no. available for Canadian. I'll give Netflix. you the two sites that I that I got this information from. That's one of them, and then one is adjusted for. Um, and there are only there's only one different. One had Elvis on it, and one didn't. And Big didn't make it. Yeah. No. No. Yeah, that's amazing. I, I thought that, that would so be popular. Flash sure. didn't make it. Oh. Which one? Oh, Gosh. I forgot about that movie. Which one? Splash. Oh, I didn't see that one either. There's a bunch oh, of movies. Great. Oh. You have to watch Splash, Susan. And where was Bosom Buddies? <laughs> that was a TV show. That was a TV show, yeah. Movie. Okay, let's let's see. We we had uh, team. Uh, oh, we need more candy. Winning, and we did not stop the vote. So let's see what happens. <laughs> wait, wait. You go down to twenty first. Rob. I know. I'm 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 just saying. He's that, teasing they, you, Karen. They oh, may okay. have lost the lead. We'll just see. We want our own skiff. I. I think if it's a tie, we do another bonus round. No. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going until everybody's got a different. So story. I did not hear the number. What was it? Five. Five. One Better. point in the lead right now. Stop the cap. Probably Stop the cap. Gonna hold. All right. Where <laughs> is everybody, which I still say? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I just lost it. We had seven. I have eight. I'm oh, sorry. Nine. It was out of 11, so we had eight. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. Nice lead there. That is all right. We didn't we'll start this fire either or either. Um are you pretty sure we have eight? Does that sound right, guys, based on the uh, I I didn't keep your list. Yeah, yeah I don't I think uh, I don't think a league of their own was on Three. there. No, and Splash wasn't on there. Eight. Three and Philadelphia wasn't on there. Yeah, eight. Um, we got eight. <laughs> oh, at okay. eight by with one more team, the team that was winning before. Let's see if I they can take it seven. back. I think we have a trivia first. We also got eight. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. Dun, dun. I was hoping they would get seven. Point. And again, the same order with second and third tied. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm dizzy. <laughs> Very close. Good game. Very good. Do you have people yeah. for next week? Yeah, I think. Didn't you get them? I mean, not. Um, I don't think it's full. Um, I can't see, see anything. I, I only ah, have. Ah, okay, yes. I'm we totally need, uh, helpless. We have Karen and Peggy, but nobody else. Well, who's going to do it? at home are you, Susan? No, I'm in. I'm in. I'm. I. I just got out of the car. I'm in. I'm in Federal Way, Washington. I'm out of state. In a state capital. You are? 
Yes. So we need one bonus and two categories, please. Well, Rob can do the bonus. He had one tonight. But, no, he's but doing I, the. He's rent. He's running it next week. You want me to run the game again? So I shouldn't do that. No, it's I'll do a category. Adrian. Hey, Adrian. Hey. I heard yeah. your name so much today because I was listening to to. to um, oh yes. But I thought Adrian was the planet that was. The. The home planet for that no. other character. I was yeah, thinking no. that I got it confused. It's the other planet. Yeah. But it was so nice to hear him when and it, he it's it. spelled wrong. But hey, I'll take yeah. it. I but saw it your wrong. name in my mind when I there. heard them because I didn't read it. I was listening yeah. to. Yeah, yeah, the first time I heard it, I said, oh, "I wonder if Adrian's ever read this." Yeah. yeah. And it I was such a good movie. It was your but... birthday, Adrian. Yeah. Wow. When when we, is your birthday today, or when oh, is your birthday? Two days ago. It was Sunday. Days ago. Oh. No, Monday. Monday. Randy don't, was. Don't make Monday. me older. Yeah, I'm I'm the same birthday as Randy, so that's a good way to remember it. Vincent, oh. do you want to do a category next week? No, not yes, after. Yes, I do. I can't wait. I have, I have I haven't heard Ben do one in a long time. I was trying to get Ben. No. To who's got who's got I the bonus like his categories. next week? Who's got the bonus? Nobody's got the bonus Nobody yet. No bonus. One category, one bonus needed, please. Leonard, Leonard. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Cindy. Cindy volunteering. Leonard, you probably can't make it. And I'm hoping there's a bunch of people coming from book club next week. Hi, Cindy. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. got like. What three people interested or something? Yeah, it was like really that? funny. Yeah. yeah. I have well, one prepared. If nobody I can do a bonus. Do yeah. Gail is saying yes, and then Carl said he can do a bonus. Yay! Ta -da! See how good that is. You guys are awesome. Because I can't. I pro I'm going to be with Kimmy Biddle. I think we're going to be. Uh, who, who else? Who else is doing? doing I'm Karen, Peggy, Adrian, and who? Karen, Peggy, Adrian. Gail. Oh, Gail. Oh, they're releasing the UFO. And movie Carl that with they don't want you to hear on Thursday. Wait, all right. I had to take a break. Do, do we have any more than Karen, Peggy, and Adrian? Yeah. Gail. <laughs> and Gail. Gail, Gail yeah, I, one, Gail I have one prepared if somebody if not, nobody else wants it. Okay. Gail gets two in a row. Mike's got his hand up. Who? Mike Wolf's got his hand up. So we just need a bonus. No, it was Carl just, said he did the bonus. I can do, do a bonus, bonus if you can't get someone else. Carl said he did the bonus. Oh, by. Oh, oh, Caspian got his hand up. <laughs> Caspian <laughs> volunteer? No. Mike, were you just stretching or did you intend to volunteer? I was just sitting weird. Okay, sitting <laughs> weird. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Come on, bonus. Bonus is easy. That, Top that, 10, that's my Carl, 10. Indian that's name, Carl. by the way. Biggest Carl's going to do it. Oh. Carl's going to do a bonus. All yeah. right. I'll watch your guys' video. video. You can always take a, hint, take a hint from what Rob did about the Pixar movies and what I did with Tom yeah. Hanks tonight. You could just pick any favorite actor, director, or whatever, do his top 10. If, if I show point. up, it's going to be with it's going to be with Kenny. Ooh. Well, that's fine. Like I did a Clint Eastwood category. I could have done but top we're not staying grossing in the same hotel. movie Clint Eastwood movies for a bonus category, but I won't do it. So do you still need me? Yes, yeah. Gail. Yes, yeah, yeah. you are needed. You are wanted. You are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next week we have Karen, Peggy, Adrian, Gail, and Carl for the bonus. Which Carl? Carl with a K? Carl with Carl a K. Carl or Kyle. Or I don't think we should allow anybody to play if their name Where's starts Kyle? with a Carl Where with a C. Kyle. Jane, I'm going to get in touch with you. Is that okay? Yes, of course. Okay. 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 I'm going to see Janine. Or... I'm going to see Janine, and I'm going to see Jane next week. Nice. Mm -hmm. In hey, person. Steve, I have a question about a skeptic camp. Yes. So, what types? of things are you looking for or or is there a list somewhere could one go back and look at past speakers to see what type of thing you're looking for well there's a there <laughs> is, um a series of videos of all the videos we've done of all the different talks and yeah. they're on uh, about time youtube Website. channel oh, about time YouTube. youtube channel if you go to if you go to monterey county skeptics.org mm -hmm. 
that'll take you to where all the okay all the videos and stuff like that so leonard's done um several and uh, mcwest has done one um Piles done three Piles done like four yeah um, adrian hill's done two virtual yeah if you could if you count yeah. the virtual ones yeah that's true so but we, you're going to go in person this year and yeah. uh, and at, at about time it has passed presenters i would go to about uh, montereycountyskeptics.org okay and that should pull you right up to the website that should have everything on there i have not been keeping up our website adrian you guys are going to fire me i have <laughs> nothing keeping everything on it. and nothing so special is happening january 6th next year <laughs> no january 2nd uh, january 2nd it's a did saturday. You, yeah, suggested date for the trial it's yeah. a saturday right. it's not going to have any trial on a saturday. no they've got something planned for january 2nd yeah mm -hmm. no but january 6th is right that's is our thing. skeptic camp is oh, january 6th oh. so, so if skeptic camp what kind of tents do you guys use <laughs> polyester <laughs> or canvas oh you're awful okay I love seeing you guys. Some people I don't heard. believe in canvas. I love seeing you all, but I'm going to go skeptical I because I haven't eaten yeah. and I am tired. My battery is about to die. Good night. And I know I'm wrong today, so I'm out of here. Bye. If anybody, don't forget <laughs> Berkeley, Richard Saunders is going to be at the library. Three o'clock at the library. Yep, three o'clock. Yeah. I mean, if, I, if I'm going to drive down there, I want to see some people. Is it going to be in there, Lee? Last episode of Star Trek yet? Haven't seen it yet. Yeah. Oh, it's no, awesome. No, no spoilers. I will not spoil it, but it's awesome. Come I on. watch it now since it's, we ended this early. Yes. Happy birthday in 18 minutes, Carl. Yeah. Happy birthday, Carl. You're on the East Coast. Birthday, birthday almost now. to you. <laughs> yep. Wait, did we not sing to Carl today? I missed that. It's we did not. Saying. That's next week. Apparently, we don't wish uh, people oh, happy God. birthday for the future. Only yeah, after he, the he, he may, he may skip it. Mm. He may skip it, so we can't do it ahead. No, he, he's got. He's doing the. the he's doing uh, the category oh, bonus, so he's got to be there. Yeah. Good point. Well, it's meant to be fun, not to be torturous for them. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, I meant he may skip his birthday. Apparently, and apparently then Susan we would like have sung happy, happy birthday, birthday for nothing. Like Mark, Mark wished her happy birthday on Facebook, and all sorts. Everybody saw it and started posting. And Susan says she's like deleting all of them. Hmm. Yeah, Susan apparently um, didn't want a birthday this year. Okay. Don't understand. Okay. All right. That see everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay. We'll see you. I'll phone. I'll text. I'll email you, Jane. Okay. Okay. I'll talk to you. Good night, okay. everyone. Okay. Bye take bye. care. I Good gotta night. get my chickens. You gonna you gonna watch tonight, Carl? I, it's up. I already watched. You close up. Oh, the you did. Oh, it's up yeah. early. Oh, oh I was up real early. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna watch tonight. Nice. I, I might watch before I go to bed since it's not midnight yet. So, all right. Night.